back to my channel. My name is Stephanie McQueen. Give me a thumbs up, comment, tell me what you like and what you don't like. So today I'm excited because I have a easy, super easy, healthy recipe for you guys. And it basically is a healthy version of um, like garlic butter and noodles. So let me show you some of the ingredients and then I'll show you guys how to make it. Okay, so for this recipe, I will be using first um, Pad Thai rice noodles. These are gluten-free noodles. I found these things a while back, and they are just so delicious. I love them. And then I have minced garlic. I'm not going to lie. I hate to mince garlic, so I cheat and get the already organic minced garlic minced garlic so if you like to mince garlic more power to you you can just <laughs> do that and then I also have again the Kerrygold butter this is a garlic and herb butter I love this stuff you always hear me talking about healthy fats so of course this is another one um, I've used it in my other video as well and it's um, you know healthy fats are important because about 50% um, intake of them a day and so these are good for you because it's from grass-fed cows that don't have antibiotics or hormones. And then I also have, this is a natural soy sauce alternative called Liquid Aminos. Um, I don't use soy sauce because it is not very healthy. It actually has a lot of ingredients that are really, very harmful, um, especially the ingredient MSG. So this contains like no preservatives, no MSG, it's all natural, non-GMO, so I love this stuff and it tastes amazing. And then I also have uh, some green onions that I already cut up. For the butter, you can find that in a natural um, grocery store as well as the liquid aminos. Um, I'm not sure that I've seen it in a mainstream uh, grocery store, but you'd have to check, but I'm pretty sure um, but I know for sure that they're in natural um, grocery stores. And then the Pad Thai noodles, you can find them um, pretty much anywhere. I've even seen them at Walmart, but just um, a different uh, colored box, like black or something like that. So yeah, these are the ingredients that you will be using. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put the noodles, your Pad Thai noodles, in your boiling water. And then you want to turn off your burner because you don't want to leave it on. If you leave them sitting in the boiling water, they're going to get all messed up. And then go to your timer and put them on for 20 minutes and let them soak. Okay, when you have about five minutes left of your noodles cooking, you want to get a smaller pan and uh, turn the burner on. And then you can put uh, the Kerrygold butter in the pot as well as with the garlic and just let them melt on really low heat. And I forgot to add this to the video, but um, Himalayan pink salt, I'm gonna be adding that to the noodles as well. Guys, my hair looks crazy. My husband always makes fun of me because I have so much hair that when I wear it in a ponytail, it just goes to the side. So now it looks like I'm rocking a side ponytail, but I have so such thick, long hair that it just goes to the side. So sorry if I'm looking uh, kind of ridiculous right now. But um, okay, I'm gonna add the butter into the pan. And garlic is also good for reducing inflammation, so I cook with that a lot too. It's very helpful. So now it is just, here is the butter melting. Let's check on the noodles, just soaking in there. This is gonna be so delicious, guys. So the noodles are done. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna take a fork and just kinda sift through them, make sure they are soft and everything. Um, and then what you wanna do is drain them. Spray cold water on top of them. And then you just add them back to the pot 
and um, it looks like the butter is almost all melted. I'm just gonna kind of stir it around a little bit. Looks like it's doing good. Got some stray noodles here. Okay, so once the butter has finished melting, just go ahead and pour it over the top of your noodles. You can kind of do like a little bit at a time and um, mix it around. Then um, you wanna take the coconut aminos, the liquid aminos, and just add some into the pot with the noodles. And stir it around as well. And then you can add your little garnish of the, uh, the um, green onions and mix it around. I seem to have lost my oh here it is. I found it. Okay, just mix it around. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more Himalayan pink salt. I feel like you can never go wrong there. Okay guys, that is it. It seriously is so simple and so easy, so delicious. My husband loves these, my daughter loves these. Actually, my daughter begs me for them. She's like, please mommy, make noodles for dinner, please, please. So they are so good. Let me show you what they're looking like. Okay, here they are, they're all done. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Leave some comments. I'll see you next time. Bye.